at this stage, your biggest challenge will still be making sure your baby gets a good latch. I've been focusing on this a lot over the past few days with Bracey, who's just now learning how to breastfeed. Getting a good latch is crucial. That is how you will make sure that your breasts don't get nipple fissures and tears, that you don't end up with clogged ducts and eventually with mastitis and all those things. You have to make sure that your baby is latched properly onto your breast. And what that means is a wide mouth. It's very counterintuitive the way babies suck on the breast. It is the direct opposite of the way we suck on a straw. We go like this. That's how an adult sucks. That's not how a baby eats. A baby eats like this. The mouth is super wide. It's like this. And they go. I don't know how they do it. Somehow they must breathe out of the nose and suck in through the mouth. But the mouth is wide. So the way you get a good latch and watch my video on how to get baby to breastfeed and get a good latch because I get right in there with my fifth baby, Marielle, and I show you guys the nitty gritty. But the way you get a good latch is you tease the baby first to open his or her mouth. You take your nipple and you rub it back and forth along the baby's mouth and you tempt them to open their mouth. You're saying, open your mouth, baby, open your mouth, baby. Finally, the baby's gonna go like this. And when they do that, you sort of fold them up onto your breast. And I even sometimes have to hunch down a little bit and get the baby to latch on. Now, one thing that's really, really tricky in the early weeks is that often your breasts are too round and they're too engorged. Think about how hard it is to take a big bite out of a round, hard apple. It's really tricky. So there are two things you can do in that circumstance, actually three things. One, you can express out a little bit of milk. Two, you can pump a little bit first to sort of loosen things up so the baby has something that the baby can grip onto. And the third thing you can do is just hold your breast like this and effectively change the shape to give your baby an easier thing to latch onto. This is what I've been doing with Bracy over the past couple of days, and it's really helping me a lot. Once your baby has a good latch, leave your baby there. You might see them even falling asleep and continuing to suck. Try to gently squeeze their fingers, gently squeeze their toes. You can even undo part of the bottom of their pajama and rub your fingers back and forth. You can try putting lukewarm water on their temples. Do everything you can to keep them awake while they're latched on. If you find that they totally nod off to go to sleep, you'll have to try to think of other methods to keep them awake. But I would try to keep them in the latch for as long as you can. If you don't have a good latch and your baby's sucking with a small mouth and it really hurts, you have to take them off the breast immediately. And you do that by inserting a clean pinky finger between the baby's mouth and your breast to break the suction. Do not rip a baby off your breast. That is a killer that will really, really hurt. and It's really bad for your nipple. You have to gently take the baby off. At a certain point, you'll see your baby break off the latch. They often go like this. And they're like, I'm done. I'm done with you now. I don't need any more of you. So a lot of moms are like, okay, my baby's done. My baby's full. Uh-uh. To me, that says my baby might need to burp. At that point, when your baby has broken off the latch, what you want to try to do is to burp your baby, to put your baby back onto the breast, and to try to make sure that your baby does not want any more food. If your baby is awake, has burped, and is rejecting more food, then you know your baby is full, and for now, your work is done.